freedom is already all that is happening, yet is not what is being experienced by most of us. As you allow yourself to let go and be the freedom that already is, this can be discovered and lived directly. And this turns out to be a very practical way to live life. Welcome to Letting Go and the Greatest Secret, where we explore the end of your suffering and the beginning of lasting happiness. I'm Hale Dwoskin. Normally, a featured guest joins me for a conversation to share insights into living a life of deep joy and unshakable peace. Every now and then, it's just you and me, and today is one of those episodes. So if this really is already freedom, how come we don't experience it? How come we feel so limited? And it's actually a very simple answer. It's because it's not freedom for you or me. It is freedom itself. This sense of you and me that are somehow separate from life is just an illusion, is just coming from our sense of separation and limitation. And there are two ways to approach this. Now, actually, there's no way to approach this because it is already. But we're, this uh, podcast today is about making this practical, even though that makes no sense. <laughs> So, so the first way to approach it is to recognize that the more we're lost in our story, the more we're struggling in life, the more we feel limited, the, the less we even ponder whether or not this freedom is already. And the less we feel freedom, we usually feel distress suffering, limitation, unhappiness, even at times that are where everything's going our way. So the first way to approach this or to explore this, which is still somewhat of an approach, is to allow ourselves to let go of what we believe we are and what we believe is limiting us. This is what a lot of the Sedona method is all about. And so the more you let go of your fear, your frustration, your anger, your anxiety, your self-doubt, the more you let go of looking for love in all the wrong places, the more you let go of thinking it's about the next moment, that this isn't enough the more there's a, a living experience of freedom. And you can stay with this way of approaching it as long as you'd like. And the, the benefits of this are boundless. In other words, they have no limit. They can, it keeps, it can just keep getting better and better and better and better. Yet, the other part of what we do is we explore that which is already. We explore that we aren't just this person having a better and better and better life. But what is, is beyond the person, beyond you and me. And there's also a way to explore that that makes that more and more obvious. And eventually, it's obvious to no one. 
Now, this part is spontaneous. Actually, life itself is spontaneous, all of it. Yet this part is more obviously spontaneous because it's not something that me or you as a person can bring about. Not because it's so mystical and somewhere else, because it is already. There already is just this, just is, just beingness. And so there's no need to approach or uncover or even recognize what is already. And the other thing that already isn't is this sense of me. There's certainly the appearance that I'm here and you're there. There's certainly the appearance that we're all separate individuals. But this is an illusion. And because it's an illusion, it already isn't. And so this can simply drop away by itself, revealing it never really was. So let's explore this from both perspectives. So in this moment, could you just simply pause or stop and notice what is? Recognize as best you can that this is already freedom, already beingness already boundlessness, already everything and nothing. Now, this may not be obvious at first. And part of the reason it's not obvious is because there's most of us are experiencing either in the foreground or in the background, this sense of this isn't it. It's somewhere else. I need to get to this that already is. I need to uncover it. I need to free myself in order to, to become this. But even just in life, moment to moment, even though there are no moments in life, we're experiencing this sense that this is not enough. I need more, or it's going to happen soon or later, or there's somewhere to go and something to do. So in this moment, could you just simply welcome any sense that this isn't it? I need more, the sense of becoming, the sense of going somewhere. Is it allowed or welcomed? Is it what's apparently happening? And part of how we deal with this inner sense of incompleteness is we want to fix it. We want to change it. We want to do something with or about it. This can become a never-ending loop. So could you just welcome any sense of wanting to fix this, change this, do something with or about it, including add to it or take anything away? Is this welcomed or allowed? Is this what's apparently happening? And at the core of all this sense of limitation is just simply the sense of me, the sense that I'm here and you're there, the sense that 
I'm a person separate from other people. So could you just welcome that? That sense of I, me, or mine. Could you just allow that as best you can? Is it welcomed? Is it allowed? Is that what's apparently happening? And then if there's any remaining sense that this isn't enough, that there's somewhere you need to go and something you need to do in order to be. Could you just welcome it or allow it? And then as best you can, just for now, could you let it go, just could you? Would you? When? And then could you be open at least to the possibility that there's nowhere you need to go or nothing you need to go but do? Because you already aren't. And this beingness or freedom already, already is. What if this is already boundlessness? What if there is only beingness? Only unconditional love. Only light. Appearing as whatever's apparently happening. What if this is everything and nothing already? And then could you allow yourself to welcome any remaining sense that this isn't it? I have to go somewhere, do something. I need more goodness, more money, more love, more health, more, more, more. And any sense that this isn't okay, this needs to be fixed or changed. And could that just be allowed or welcomed? Could you just allow it? Is this what's apparently happening? And we want to control our wanting to control. We want to fix our wanting to fix, which again keeps it looping. So could you welcome any wanting approval, control, security, separation, or oneness? Any wanting to do anything with or about this? Including push it away or hold it close? Is it welcomed? Is it allowed? Is it what's apparently happening? And then is there any sense of I'm here and you're there or vice versa? Is there any sense of a personal center? any sense of this is my experience, my life, my beliefs, my perspective. My, 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 my. <laughs> any sense of the personal. And if there is, could you just welcome or allow it? 
Is that allowed? Is that what's apparently happening? And if there's any remaining sense of more is better, this isn't it. Leaning in or pulling away, any sense that there's somewhere to go, something to do, and someone to do it. And if there is, Is that welcomed or allowed? Is that what's apparently happening? And then as best you can, just for now, could you let that go? Just could you? Would you? When? And then could you be open at least to the possibility that this is it already? This, whatever is being experienced or not, whatever is being tasted, heard, felt, seen. What if it's not being, none of that's being done by anyone? It's just what's apparently happening. And what if, just what if, this is already wholeness, completeness, boundless, unconditional love, freedom. And then again, could you allow yourself to see if there's any more striving, efforting, pushing or shoving, trying to get somewhere other than this that is, trying to add or take away. And if there is, Could you just welcome or allow it? Is this welcomed or allowed? Is this what's apparently happening? And is there any wanting to do anything with or about this? fix it, change it, control it, understand it, do anything with or about it. And if there is, is that welcomed or allowed? Is that what's apparently happening? And is there, too, any sense that it all revolves around me? It's my life, my world, my experience. And if so, is that welcomed or allowed? Is that what's apparently happening? And then this sense of striving to be, to have or to do. If there's any more of that in this moment, Is it welcomed? Is it allowed? Is it what's apparently happening? And then as best you can, just for now, could you let it go? Just could you? Would you? When? And then, could you just simply be open to what already is? What if this 
is already boundlessness, already freedom, already wholeness, already all and nothing at all. And what if none of this has to do with a you? It just is, as it is. Okay, good. So this actually is quite practical. It doesn't just feel good. The less there's a sense of me, the more there's just this letting go of trying to be somewhere else the more there's an appropriate response to what is as it is. Now, this is always what's happening, but it becomes more obvious, more effortless, more natural, until there's no longer any sense of striving, efforting. There is just effortless life, living itself, as an apparent human being and as apparent all phenomena. So I highly encourage you to listen to this a few more times or watch it a few more times and explore where this leads you. You might actually discover there is no you, there's just this. I hope you've enjoyed our time together. We'll do special ones like this every now and then. And of course, we'll be having plenty of featured guests to share their wisdom and insights with you. If you've enjoyed this podcast, please subscribe so you have immediate access to future episodes. Please give us a five-star rating and share it with the people you care about. These episodes are dedicated to sharing the eternal teachings from the greatest secret and the power of letting go. If you'd like to learn more about my work, my mentors, Lester Levinson's work and the Sedona Method, please visit www.sedona.com. As you explore our site, you'll learn the key to lasting happiness, success, peace, and emotional well-being. We have books, courses, events, and plenty of free material to explore. Again, go to Sedona.com. That's S-E-D-O-N-A.com. Thank you for being here, and we'll catch you in the next episode of Letting Go and the Greatest Secret.